गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द बिशप हाईटे स्कूल आनंदपुर सो टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट क्लास नाइन फिजिक्स चैप्टर टू मोशन इन वन डायमेंशन एंड दिस इज सेशन वन सो टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सम टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू मोशन ओके चिल्ड्रेन द क्वान्टिटीज विच कैन बी मेजर्ड आर कॉल्ड फिजिकल क्वान्टिटीज ओके सिंपली यू कैन मेजर इट लाइक Uh, if i just tell you this one is you have to cover 3 km that means you can easily measure it's a 3 km 2 liter 5 liter 5 kg whatever if you can measure it this is a physical quantities and there are two type of physical quantities first uh, uh, scalar quantities okay and second vector quantity so now we'll discuss what is scalar quantities children these are physical quantities and which are expressed only by their magnitude okay so we can express it by its magnitude now we need the following two parameters to express a scalar quantities completely so what is this two parameter first unit in which the quantity is being measured okay you should have unit okay suppose that you have to just measure milk then you should have liter and second numerical value of the measured quantities what is the numerical value see what is said children if you have to cover 3 km or 4 km or whatever then this 3 and 4 is a numerical value clear scalar quantities can be added subtracted multiplied and divided by simple arithmetic methods just keep it in your mind children suppose that i'll tell you first you have to cover 4 km and then you have to cover 6 km so you can simply add it first 6 first 4 and then 6 that mean i have to cover 10 km or suppose that i have to tell you just first give 2 kg sugar and then again 4 kg sugar so you can simply add it subtract it multiply it yeah, 2 into 4 2 into 4 2 divided by 4 2 divided 4 2 plus 4 and 2 minus 4 you can add it subtract it whatever clear a scalar quantity is symbolic written by its english letter for example mass is represented by the letter m small m time t and speed by v okay now vector quantities or vectors see what is vector quantities these physical quantities required the magnitude as well as the direction to express them then only their meaning is complete see children if you just ask so what is differences between scalar quantities and vector quantities okay see so in scalar quantities we have only distance see if i just tell you we have to cover 5 km so first question what you will ask sir where 5 km east west north south where 5 km so if you have only distance you can say this one is a scalar quantities but you have distance plus direction that mean it's a vector quantities so if i now tell you that you have to cover 5 km then you will ask so where 5 km i will tell you just you have to cover 5 km in east then will go in east so if you have distance and direction then you can simply say this one is a vector quantities okay we require the following three parameters to express the vector quantity completely first unit see if i will tell you that give me 5 liter water okay so you have you should have the unit that mm, then you can measure it okay see direction what i told children what i said ki if i just tell you you have to cover 5 km then first you will ask so where 5 km east west north south then first you should have direction and numerical value of the quantity numerical value of quantity that mean what i told you have to cover 5 km that mean 5 is a numerical value here as for example you can take example distance velocity acceleration momentum force okay there are lots of example children just keep it in your mind it is always positive have you ever listen just give me minus 2 liter water okay uh, or my height is minus 5 feet never because this is that mean it is always positive never negative vector quantities follow different algebra for their addition subtraction and multiplication a vector quantity is generally written by its english letter common bearing an arrow on it okay see if i will write velocity that mean i will write v and arrow on v 
okay acetylation if you have to write acetylation for the example you can write a and arrow okay clear now what is differences between rest and motion see children every object in this universe is in motion every object every day we see bodies moving around us as for example birds flying cars and buses moving people walking okay lots of example of it earth also moves around the sun you know so everything which one is on the earth is in a state of motion keep it in mind every object doesn't matter anything anything which one is present on earth is in motion okay the sun and the stars are moving around the center of their galaxy and the galaxy two are not at rest although we can say nothing is at rest but but children we often say that a stone laying on the ground is at rest because the stone does not change its position with respect to us okay a stone is not changing position with respect to us clear similarly if we are sitting on a railway platform we ever saw if we are sitting on a railway platform and look at a tree nearby we say that the tree is at rest because it does not in because it does not change its position okay this one is fixed position but it but with respect to us only listen children but when we see a train leaving the station we say that the train is in motion because it's continuously changing its position with respect to us so we can say what is rest a body is said to be at rest if its position does not change with respect to a fixed po points in its surroundings as for example a book lying on the table and second a bench fixed in the park and what is motion a body is said to be in motion if its position continuously changes like a train continuously changes with respect to its surrounding changes with time okay see children as for example you can take a bird flying a boy playing football okay a lots of example you can see children now what is differences between rest and motion see children every object in this universe is in motion every object every day we see bodies moving around us as for example birds flying cars and buses moving people walking okay lots of example of it earth also moves around the sun you know so everything which one is on the earth is in a state of motion keep it in mind every object doesn't matter anything anything which one is present on earth is in motion okay the sun and the stars are moving around the center of their galaxy and the galaxy two are not at rest although we can say nothing is at rest but but children we often say that a stone laying on the ground is at rest because the stone does not change its position with respect to us okay a stone is not changing position with respect to us clear similarly if we are sitting on a railway platform we ever saw if we are sitting on a railway platform and look at a tree nearby we say that the tree is at rest because it does not in because it does not change its position okay this one is fixed position but it but with respect to us only listen children but when we see a train leaving the station we say that the train is in motion because it's continuously changing its position with respect to us so we can say what is rest a body is said to be at rest if its position does not change with respect to a fixed po points in its surroundings as for example a book lying on the table and second a bench fixed in the park and what is motion a body is said to be in motion if its position continuously changes like a train continuously changes 
with respect to its surrounding changes with time okay see chil children as for example you can take a birds flying a boy playing football okay a lots of example you can see children now one dimensional motion see children when a body moves along a straight line path this is the keyword straight line path its motion is said to be one dimensional motion okay it is also called motion in a straight line or rectilinear motion as for example a car moving on a long and straight road see suppose that a car is going from a to b ta so this is a straight line now children keep it in mind if a body moves on a plane along a curved path curved path this is a key point here curved path its motion is two dimensional motion and if it moves in space its motion is three dimensional motion okay now distance the total length of path through which a body moves is called the distance travel by it the distance travel by a body depends on the path followed by the body okay now children it is a scalar quantity that mean distance is a scalar quantity that mean it has only distance no direction then we can say that this one is in scalar quantity but if one if uh, distance has a if you have a direction we can call this one is not in scalar quantity so it has only distance so this is a scalar quantity it is generally represented by the letter s capital s the si unit of distance is meter m and cgs unit is centimeter displacement the shortest distance from the initial to the final position of the body see children when i'll explain you the differences between distance and displacement i'll just tell you about this short distance what is this short distance okay so now the short distance from the initial to the final position of the body is the magnitude of displacement and its direction is from the initial position to the final position okay it is a vector quantity vector quantity that means it has distance plus direction direction also it is represented by the symbol s and arrow on s clear unit the si unit of displacement is meter and the cgs unit is centimeter now see children here distinction between distance and displacement okay so first distance distance is the length of the path travel by a body while moving from an initial position to a final position and displacement displacement is the shortest distance between the initial position and the final position of the body okay see children now in one line you can say distance is a long cut and displacement is a short cut see if you want to reach anywhere suppose that you want to go to school from your house always we have two way to go first short cut or long cut this is depend on you you will choose which way okay so distance that means it's a long cut and displacement that means this is a short cut second distance is a scalar quantity that means it's only distance as only distance suppose that you have to go 5 km that means you have to go 5 5 km you can go anywhere where you want east west north south you don't have direction so this one is a scalar quantity and displacement is a vector quantity that mean i will tell you you have to go 5 km east 3 km west that mean you have distance plus direction distance measured is always positive okay it will be always positive suppose that uh, what i said children in earlier uh, you have to your height is 5 ft okay so plus 5 ft not minus 5 ft okay displacement can be positive or negative depending on the reference point okay children Displa displacement it may be negative but distance this one is always positive 
the total distance cover is equal to the algebraical sum of all the distance travel in different direction that means you can measure it you have to go 3 km 4 km 5 km whatever you can measure it the net displacement is the vector sum of the individual displacement is different direction okay see suppose that in vector uh, first you will go 3 km east second 2 km west that means uh, different direction number 5 there is always a distance cover whenever there is a motion and displacement will be zero if the body comes back to its initial position so what is mean that ki simple if you have to go to school so first you will from your house you will reach your school again your school to your house so displacement will be zero here because you come back to its initial position clear you start from home and you again come back to your home so displacement is zero but different distance see children uh, suppose that the distance distance between you how to your school is uh, two kilometers so first two kilometer will go and then again you two kilometer will come then total distance is four kilometer but displacement is zero here because you come back to your initial position and last unit meter m and unit is meter m also so in distance unit is meter and in displacement unit is also meter okay thank you children thank you very much have a nice day